Yes, what's up guys? Uh, it's time to get a little bit of practice in. Uh, this week we're at Road at... No, Road America. Cool. Yeah, Road America. Very fun track. Very fun track with these cars. Uh, I remember doing this last season. And I was racing with David... David Gibbons set up. It was a low downfall set up, which is which pretty pretty decent, pretty decent. Works for me at, at the for the time I was alright at it. Um, this season I'm trying out pure driving school setup and this one is a higher downfall setup. So obviously you're gonna be faster in the corners, not as fast on the straights, but it's it's higher downforce with quite low wing. So um, but yeah, the car handles pretty decent. But uh, but yeah, the uh, in the pure driving school when they posted a setup, the time they posted with it was a what was it? It was a 44.9. Yeah, yeah, it was a 44.9. So I'm just gonna try my best for a, you know five or so laps to try and get as close to that as possible. Um, usually I'm about half a second off their times usually so yeah you know I'll give it a go I think I've uh, done a little bit of practice so far just to sort of like get an idea of what I need to do with a hybrid um, I've got my JRT on the right corner so you should you'll be you should be able to see what I'm doing so uh, yeah let's give it a go trying my best to stay 50 have 50% 50 charge at the beginning of every lap Ooh, a little crunchy there So far, so good. Here we go. Again, like whenever I get up to a straight, I'll use as much boost as I can, but I want to stop it at about 50% charge. Okay, not bad, not bad. That that, uh, that lap felt pretty decent. Ending in 48, so yeah, as close as I can get to 50 as possible. And we come with a 45 free, decent, decent. Okay. Ah, you bastard! Got greedy, got greedy. Okay, the lap's fucked. The lap's fucked. All right, it's all right, it's all right. It's all good. It's all good. Still, um, uh, still trying to focus on race pace. I don't want to like just use as much boost as I can every lap because eventually I'll just I'm using more than I'm charging. So I'm trying to get used to using what I. Oh God, my days! What happened to the guy who just did the last lap? <laughs> Bloody mess. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to use what I what I charge basically. So what I'm um, charging, I just use all all that up. But yeah, so that puts me to within four tenths. Yeah, within four tenths of the of the pure uh, pure driving school's time. So pretty much where I'd be about usually.
this track is it's really it's it's fun in a sense where like you you can be very aggressive but you're you're better off not being too aggressive so like obviously breaking as hard as you can but at the same time because they're quite fast corners some of these you don't want to break too hard it's more of a sort of hard slash light break it's hard to describe but anyway let's focus there that corner I think that's the hardest corner of the track because you can take it full throttle you can keep it flat but sometimes you get a little twitchy bum bum time and it's sort of like uh, pussy lift sorry had to do it That part there is full throttle, but you have to be careful. You don't want to turn too much, just that you, you lose the rear. Ah, you bastard. Ugh. Fucked it. Oh, man, that's annoying. Um... What we get in there, we'll probably get like a, just a half a tenth. Yeah. Ah, oh, off track, you bitch. Okay, don't worry. Keep focusing. See what we can get out of this. Just a little lift there. Why didn't I do that before? Much better. That last corner is very deceiving as well. Light break, but you can get carried away with it. Oh man, a 45-1, definitely. See? If I just, oh, if I just turned in earlier. Again, uh, like I told you, always trying to stay within 50% of the, um, the charge so I can keep track of it.
hesitated. Man, that's annoying. <sighs> uh, same again. Got greedy. All right, I think we'll um, we'll call it a day there. We'll call it a day there. That's not too bad, to be honest. Like um, a 45-1. See, it, see, I would have got a 45 if I just didn't get that like, off track there. That would have been. Uh, a proper lap, but um, let's uh, let's just take a look at these uh, take a look at these laps. The, this one where I cut slightly, and then the other one where obviously it wasn't, but just temp slower. See here, I just missed the apex there. Got on the throttle. I mean, I got on the throttle at the right time. I just turned in a bit, just a smidgen too late. But the rest of the track was pretty. I mean, to be honest, I still made a couple of mistakes here or there, so there's definitely time to be gained. It's just obviously stringing it all together, but consistently being within half a second of um, of the 44.9 is pretty good for me. That's pretty much where I'm usually at anyway, so I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm not, like I'm, uh, like I'm disappointed. But, um, but yeah, like you guys saw, there's clearly improvements loads of mistakes well a few mistakes that I'd say cost me maybe two temps in the end but again that's me doing a perfect lap so here also you have to be careful when after is it the carousel like you got because you want to get on the power and obviously use your boost as quickly as possible but be very careful because you can use it a little bit too early and hit the curb on the outside and just completely hit like when you hit the curb on the outside man it's I'd say a very high chance of just hitting something and then spinning out completely. I've seen it happen to a couple guys. Yeah, apart from that, obviously off track. The rest of the track, the rest of the track, I did pretty decent. So, and then this would be the 45.2. But yeah, the car does have like you know a lot of understeer when it comes to turning so you just got to it feels unnatural but you've got to turn the car in earlier than what you think you could especially in a Porsche Porsche has definitely better turning the Porsche time they put up was a what was that I think it was a 44 6 5 or 6 something like that so you can see I'm what 8 8 8 temps yeah, about seven, eight temps slower than, than that time, so, um, which again, I'm kind of used to being a second slower than, than the Porsche, than the Porsches, but, um, but like I said, I like, I like driving the Audi, it feels nice to me, I, um, I like a good challenge as well, so, I'll be sticking with the Audi, for the foreseeable future. But yeah, I just messed up this last corner here. I was about to temp up and then I just hesitated somewhere. You can see I turned and I uh, straightened and I turned again. Ah oh well, all right then. That's, uh, that's all right, I'll take that. I'll take that, like I said. Um, definite improvements to be made, but at the same time, hey, uh, pretty much where I usually am, half a second within half a second. Or, of their time so uh but yeah anyway thanks for watching and i will catch you guys later